Hi, I'm Bob. Let's find solutions to the computer exercises for Chapter 10, Basic Regression Analysis with Time Series Data. In the textbook, Introductory Echometrics, a Modern Approach, the Science Edition, by Professor Jeffrey Woodridge. In the first computer exercise, we re-estimate equation 10.15 by adding a dummy indicator for years after 1979. we find a significant shift in the interest rate after 1979. The three-month TBU rate is 1.56 points higher on average after 1979, holding inflation and deficit fixed. The difference is statistically significant at the 1% level. The estimates with and without the dummy variable are listed in the table. The coefficient on inflation changes little, but the coefficient on deficit drops from 0.51 to 0.36 after adding the dummy variable. In Stata, we use the estimates store command to store the estimation results and the S tab command to list the results from various models. Let's do computer exercise 2. After adding a linear time trend t to the model, we find that no variable other than the time trend is statistically significant at the 10% level. We use the test command to carry out the F test in Stata. The F statistic is tiny, 0.54, and its p-value is 0.78. All explanatory variables except the time trend are jointly insignificant at any conventional level. It suggests that after considering the time trend, the other explanatory variables in the model cannot explain the outcome variable. We add 11 monthly dummy variables to the model to capture the possible seasonality in Park 3. The F-test shows that the monthly dummies are jointly insignificant at any reasonable level with an F-statistic of 0.86 and a p-value of 0.59. It implies no seasonality in the model. We can compare the estimates with and without the dummies in the table. The chemical production index effect does not change much. The gas coefficients have opposite size, but both are statistically insignificant. The exchange rate effect drops and becomes less significant. There is still no evidence that the imports differed six months before or after the suit was filed. The negative lawsuit decision effects on the imports are similar in magnitude and significance in both models. We can use the star option of the STAB command to change the significance levels shown in the table. Let's find answers to computer exercise number three. Once again, we use the estimates store command and the as tab command to list the estimates from three models in a table.
Model 1 is without a time trend. Model 2 has a time trend. We add the Puerto Rican GNP to Model 3. The log of the Puerto Rican GNP variable is statistically significant at the 1% level. The estimate is 0.285. We can compute the exact percentage change, which is 33%. When Puerto Rican GNP increases by 10% above its long-run trend, its employment rate increases by about 3.3%, holding the U.S. GNP and the minimum wage fixed. Including this variable makes the negative minimum wage effect larger in absolute value. It changes to minus 0.212 from minus 0.169. Let's complete computer exercise 4. To find the standard error for the long run propensity, we follow the trick and let theta denote the long run propensity. We write delta 0 in terms of theta, delta 1, and delta 2, and substitute for delta 0 in the model. We then generate two new variables, PEDT and PED2T. We can obtain the estimate of theta and its standard error by regressing GFRT on PET, PEDT, and PED2T. WW2T and PUT. The estimate equals 0 0.101. The standard error is 0 0.030. The t-statistic is 3.38 and its p-value against a two-sided alternative is 0 0.001. The long-run propensity is statistically different from zero at the 1% level. Thank you for doing the exercises with me. See you soon. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.